Hello there, everybody. This is Big Benedict. We're playing Devil May Cry 4 on Dante Must Die difficulty. This is Mission 4. It's entitled Cold Blooded. Uh, so what I've done is I've removed some of the videos in my guide and started with this one, which had which had the first air on it, namely the boss battle. It had an uh, an audio sync air, so the fight was not enjoyable. But I have a better fight for you coming up. Uh, this first encounter here. You're going to be able to use the gyro blade to slay all of the the weakling enemies here, and then we'll have the blitz dropping in when you kill the final frost. But I haven't discussed the charge shot, and I need to do so now because it's extremely important part of your arsenal. It's just as important as a sword. So you should have the charge shot level three. If you don't have it, you need to purchase it immediately because any enemy that needs the gun, like the blitzes or the, the Mephistos and the Fausts, those enemies only take to the to the gun. I mean, you can, you can hit them with the sword, but it's more effective to do charge shots on them. So, with the charge shot, you're just holding down the... Um, for me, it's the X button, whatever button you have it assigned to, if it's the right trigger, if you want it there, or wherever. But you hold it down, and it's a very long process, but it, it goes from uh, blue to, like, kind of... I don't know like the in-between color, but it, it goes from like blue and then and, it, and then it ends with a red charge, which is glowing right now in his hand. So it might be blue to purple to orange, but charge shot just utterly devastates things, and it uh, it has a detonation effect on the enemies too, where it uh, kind of cuts into them, penetrates them, and then blows up after a while. But what you want to do on this guy is do charge shots level three on him. And then when he is, when he has the electric field, force field off of him, you want to grab him with the devil trigger uh, three times, and that should bring him to this phase where he is in his uh, detonation phase. So at this point, you don't have to do anything except just let him expire and self-destruct. It's similar to how the shadows work in DMC1. Um, now, can you get hit or grabbed when he's teleporting around the room about to self-destruct? Yeah, you can. So, it's just kind of based on luck a little bit, but I have I only get grabbed very, very rarely. And that's usually because I'm not jumping as furiously as I need to, and, um, you know, he's grabbing me when I don't have an iframe. But that's the Blitz, and I'll be addressing him more. Now, some people, some people want to charge the gun while they're hitting, because it's such a long build-up for the charge, but... To me, I see these enemies as either it's either a sword that they need to be taken out with or the gun. And I kind of have it divided in my mind, but it's still a devastating combination of both if you want to do both. Like on these enemies, the sword's the best, but also if you do the charge shot, you could just annihilate these enemies. But having the being able to hold down that charge shot for me, it doesn't conform to my, um, my play style and the way I hold down the button. What I actually do is, with the top part of my thumb, I'm holding the charge button, and then with the bottom part, I'm jumping. And I think I like that more because while I'm doing that, I can also hold the R1 button, and I can also um, evade. Whereas if you're holding the the right trigger, all you can do is just jump around, and you know I would prefer to be able to roll rather than jump. And instead... I can um, both roll and ch and um, jump based on having you, you know because you cannot roll if you don't if you're not holding the R1 button down. So I'm also re you know I think I deleted about like, two videos and then I had one other one rendering and then I just said to hell with it I'm gonna start over at mission four. And another reason I wanted to do that aside from the audio error, it w it was a pretty blatant error. It was it was really bad on the on the boss of this chapter but what I also want to do is have the quality settings up to the maximum value on most all of the videos so I think only the first video like or maybe the first two videos had the quality at low and now all the in-game quality settings on this mode are, are at super high so everything's in um, the best quality possible I'll also probably start rendering some of the sh if they're if they're not too long of videos maybe under 15 minutes I'll try to render them in 1080p for you guys 
but because in the next chapter we're going to have to be dealing with some Mephistos and Fausts for the first time in the game and I wasn't showing you the correct way to do the chart shot and I apologize it's just that this game doesn't really tell you too much like there like it doesn't even there's no instructions about how to charge the shot so I was I get a little confused about how, to, how it was working as well as some other mechanics in this game like when I like the exceed for instance like they don't tell you anything that's what I don't like about this game from a newcomer like when I was a newcomer several months ago I didn't even know I mean I knew about the devil trigger but it doesn't even really explain like when you get it you just suddenly get it and there's no explanation you did I mean like in this game if you had never played Devil May Cry and then you had uh, gotten the Yamato later in the game you just get the Yamato and you get the devil trigger and there's just there's no explanation about it so I, I think that's a failing of, of this game but it's it's not so egregious that I'm gonna stop playing it because this game is such a fantastic game once you learn it but it's just that process of learning that I'm enjoying here so I'm, I'm glad that I'm re resuming the guide the first two videos were were top tier videos in my opinion they're they're fine no problems there but I couldn't live with that audio problem and I already had deleted the raw files associated with it and I have some it was a better fight all in all and I have a better way of dealing with the the female lackeys that the boss has so instead of trying to um, continually hit them and risk damaging uh, getting damaged rather what I'm gonna do is um, use the devil bringer to bring them to me and buster them because when you buster them they'll turn a different color and they're more susceptible to getting damaged so that's what I like and I'm not going to be using any healing items on the boss in fact I don't think there are, there is any ability to heal aside from using the devil trigger I mean of course you can use an item that's obvious but sometimes a boss will drop health But a boss that I will be using in I a couple of items on is the, the She Devil in the jungle level because up until the point where she do, she goes berserk, she her attacks are pretty nor easy to evade and fair to evade. But she just goes really b ballistic towards the end, and it requires a lot of devil trigger canceling that I can't pull off. But I can still do a pretty clean fight on her. But anyway, here is the boss and I do get eaten right away like literally like the first time he comes out he eats me but I had the devil trigger available so I just cancelled out of it although that did take some damage so the charge shot is not effective here nor is the sword so you really just to speed this fight up you need, you need to buster them see how much it takes away it takes away about a third of one of their bars or the help, boss's bars so it's much more effective at it uh, dealing with this guy. So that was the only time I got eaten. I canceled out of it, even though I took a little bit of damage here. So the thing you need to do here is to abide your time a little bit, and then go in for strikes on his uh, on his head area. And if he charges towards you and tries to eat you, all you need to do is devil trigger cancel out of that, and he'll go right through you. You'll you'll take no damage on this guy. If you want to incorporate the exceed in your in your hits, that that's good. Uh, basically, though, you want to stay to the left or to the right of him at any given time because if you're in front of him, you're always going to be at risk of getting uh, swallowed by him. See how she changed color right there. It's also it's also okay if you if you want to have them freeze you because it doesn't take any damage off you, but it does require a little bit of double trigger to burst out of it. Um, so if you don't even like dealing with this section, see how they grabbed me, took no damage away, I canceled out of it, and then we can continue with the fight here. If, so if, if you're not comfortable fighting the, the females, don't even do it because you really can't take off too much damage from them. Um, you know, I mean, it does do some moderate damage, but like this is the true part of the fight when he comes out. 
So to close in the distance, I'm using the streak, and I'm jump, just jumping on the, his head area. You notice that I'm double trigger canceling and closing in distance, going for some strikes, staying on one side of him. When he's far away from you and he does that, he's just going to disappear and summon his uh, female lackeys. So th this is a, it, it is a challenging fight, but it, it really re rewards skill. That's what I like about this, and, and learning and being patient. And I, I think I even was able to buster him, although he, there's one part where he kind of feigns being um, indisposed, and if you go to buster him, then he'll counter attack your grab. So. You're really going to have to watch out for that. I'm going to point it out when it occurs up here because it's really important. Unless you hear that, that that final, you know, like a verified sign of him being incapacitated, you're not going to be able to do the throw. And always just conserve your devil trigger because you'll need it to deal more damage on him and also to, to cancel out of uh, getting grabbed or getting uh, frozen. So his weak area is above his head, that's obvious, so that's why I'm aiming for it. Um, when he's close to you and he does that breath, he'll um, allow you to get in close and then uh, keep hitting his head. And when he's in the rage mode, he'll occasionally freeze up like that and become unhittable. You can hit the female decoys, but all they give you is red orbs like usual, so you're not really contributing too much. Here is the one grab that I was permitted. and. Just watch out for him counter-attacking counter your throw because it's going to happen right over here. See, I thought I thought I could grab him, but he wouldn't He wouldn't let me. So what he did was he tried to stomp on me, and I took some damage there, so that was my fault. But it's pretty hectic, and at this point, he's not going to disappear anymore since he's in this rage mode. You just got to watch out on the ground, be out of the shadow area, and you won't get damaged. Uh, just give it a wide berth and you should succeed. And I will see you in Mission 5. It will be in the next immediate area. Take care.